12 actors and actresses who are Sangoma. Number 1. Latoya McKen. CD from Generation, whose real name is Latoya McKen, is a fully qualified Sangoma. She received a calling at the age of 18 in 2002. And in 2003, she graduated and she is now practicing as a Sangoma in a private practice. Number 2. Baby Tele. Baby Tele, who is known as Gabsile from Uzalo, is also a Sango. She took the calling from her ancestors. Her late mother was a traditional healer, and her grandfather was an Inyang. Number 3. Liratom Velas. Sbongile Zungu on Isibaya, whose real name is Liratom Velas, went to train to become a Sangoma in 2015. She is now a traditional healer after spending six months in training. Number 4. Bongani Masondo. Bongani is known as Mangaliso on Skimsa. He became a qualified Sangoma in 2011 at Margaret in KwaZulu Natal. Number 5. Nandinyembe. Mazuide, whose real name is Nandinyembe, is a Sangoma. She started when she was only 17 years old. From then, she practiced as a Zangoma until now. Number 6. Magino Zinzi Williams. Cuba from Ruthim City, real name is Magino Zinzi. She is a traditional healer as well. She acted on different drama series, including Ruthim City, until it came to an end. Number 7. Treasure Chabala. Nomsamo actor known as Timothy Gumede is a traditional healer. He has had a lead role from 2006 to 2008 on telenovela sitcom Nomsamo. Also, he is well known for his deep voice on radio. Number 8. Don Tandeka King. Mangawa from Uzalo is a Sango. She started the training in 2008. She takes a calling as part of her career. Number 9. Oradi Lemaitis. Eunice on Skim Sam is a Sango. She shared the news on her Instagram and that she received a calling to become a Sango. Mlungi Smache. Mlungi Smache, who is known as MK on Skim Sam is a Sango. He revealed that he's practicing as a traditional heel. Shoki Mola. Sili Yakunudu on Skim Sam is a Sangoma. She started practicing as a Sangoma after a divorce from her alleged abusive ex husband, Ed Tasilo. Number 12. Dakalo Malupe. Dakalo Malupe is an upcoming actress who happens to act on scandal. Dakalo's life changed when she was required to attend initiation school in order to complete Ugutwasa and become a Sangoma. She followed her calling and traveled to Epatuin to learn and understand about her gift and calling. She was balancing schoolwork and initiation school at the same time. It was difficult for her but she had to accept that she's not like other teenagers. And that would be all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more content of your celebrities.